what you're wondering right now is, do I have a relationship or not? That's probably the thing that we should hone in on at this point, right? In becoming a life coach, the most valuable concept for me to grasp is this. As humans, we put a lot of time and effort into dancing around negative emotion rather than allowing ourselves to experience it. Hey, it's so great to reconnect with you. It really is. We have come to strongly believe that happiness is what makes life good. And so we're constantly reaching for those feel-good emotions. On the flip side, it's bad to feel angry, fearful, nervous, anxious, jealous, or sad. We judge ourselves for anything perceived as negative. So we put a ton of energy and sometimes a great deal of creativity into resisting the emotions we don't want to feel or avoiding them altogether. It's as if we think those bad feelings are going to kill us. And in part, our brains are programmed through survival instinct. You know, because that will drive your behaviors. Let's say you need to have a difficult conversation and you're trying to anticipate the worst case scenario that may come from it. You don't have control over what he does. The only thing that you have, the only person that you can control is you. What if it leads to an argument? What if you hear something you don't want to hear? You play the scenario over and over in your mind until you talk yourself out of having the conversation altogether. You convince yourself that it's easier to avoid even having the discussion rather than taking the risk of experiencing a feeling. Let's just start with where you are today. Where are you? The conversation may not even end up being a difficult one, but you've convinced yourself in advance that it could be. That makes you feel stressed, you avoid it, and that leads to further uncertainty. So you choose avoidance. So last time, I think a lot of stuff came from fear. It's fear of getting attached mm -hmm. to, to crush my heart. Mm -hmm. And the silence was a fear it's over because of my ex who broke up four times with me. Mm -hmm. and why I'm missing him so early and I'm not reaching out to protect myself. Maybe in making that choice you're left with feelings of regret or uneasiness. So what have you really accomplished? We can all relate to this, right? You're just still living in the moment with him. Yep. Okay. Which is, is that what you want to keep doing? Do you want to keep living in the moment or do you want to know whether or not there might be a future with him? Allowing all of your emotions to simply be is key to living your best life. Now we're five weeks in and now he's been uh, at your side at the hospital and maybe he didn't say boyfriend, maybe he said friend, but still he was there for you. When you allow those bad feelings, you can quickly move on from them. Now do you want to change that or do you want to stay in that loop? Dancing around them simply delays the inevitable. No, that's not so, dating. That's not dating. That's kind of settling it to what seems like a relationship, but... Here's the bottom line. Whether it's asking the hard questions, making the hard decisions, starting your own business, getting up on stage to speak in front of hundreds of people when you're an introvert, really, what's the worst that can happen? That's what I really want to get to with you today is a really basic concept of should I text him or should I not? I'll tell you. In every one of those scenarios, the worst that can happen is that you have a feeling, you have an emotion. So just, yeah, we are very open about it, which is uh, healthy uh, for me, because I never had that before. That might not be so great in the moment, but I promise you, if you simply allow yourself to feel it, all of it, you are experiencing everything that makes us human, and you will enjoy a deeper, richer participation in this life of yours.
Facebook or Instagram at Sunny the Life Coach. Hope to talk to you soon.